Welcome to Echo's patch modeling and cliff modeling tutorial. Okay. First, I'm going to show you all how to model the cliffs. I'm just going to create a basic terrain. I've already created a height map, so I'm going to go ahead and use that height map. I'm modeling it for the box because I don't want to do all this plane modeling. Okay. I don't want to tessellate it. I want to flip it. Select your bottom face. Tessellate it five times. One, two, three, four, five. Now go to the displace modifier. Get your bitmap that you created for the height map because I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to do this in modeling test. Okay. Let me find the height map. Um Again, I cannot find it, so I'm just gonna make one real fast with paint. I'm just gonna make it a basic U shape. Save it to your desktop. I'm gonna save it as test. I'm gonna make it a JPEG. Okay. Open up 3ds Max. Now load your. You can raise its strength like that. You can make another two back to another mesh. Hold on. You could do this too. Just a little messing around, you can blur it. It makes it kind of smoother. I'm gonna blur it a little bit because it looks nicer. Okay, save it to an edible mesh. Okay, select all your side faces, every single one of them. Convert it to an edible poly. Inset these faces a lot of times. Inset it so it looks kind of like I'm gonna do that. Inset. Inset. That. Yeah, I'm going to tessellate it. I'm going to convert it back to the edible mesh. Select polys in here. Just to give it a whole lot to bump. Select the polys. Where the heck did that come from? Let's see. I have no idea where that came from. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to restart. Yeah. I'm just going to open up. I love what that looked like from a long time ago. Carbon oxide. Let's 
got textures and everything applied to it already. Uh, select all your side polys. Okay, there we go. Render to an edible poly. Get polygon mode. You can inset these now. Set that just one more time. We'll go to the selection tool and just select some faces that aren't even here. Uh oh, ignore back faces, it's not on. Okay, select a uniform scale, scale those faces. Now get the movement tool, move them. Uh, where did it go? Oh. Move these faces up just a tad bit. Okay, rotate now. Select all these side faces again. Okay, now I'm going to give this thing some noise. Uh, not suit, I need to give it strength. doing anything. Of course it's gonna look blocky. Just gonna select all. Lot of noise. Lots, lots, lots. I guess you could say make yours more rocky and bumpy. Kind of like that. Okay, nice. Get rid of that gear editor mesh. You know, basically, let's get a check on it. It don't think it should have any errors. That's perfect. You got your bump and clips and everything. And if you want to go through and make it look a little bit more bumpy, you could add a smoothing group to the level. That would smooth out some of these really, really bumpy clips. Let me put a tattoo so I can see it underneath my smoothing group. Maybe one. 
That's perfect. Go to that sword over there. Shh. Okay. This concludes the cliff making part. I will be coming back to you in part two for modeling an indoor level with edible patch. So, till then, echo out.